Hey Scrappers, Moose here again. So, I've been getting requests for this little short video. Um, for people who have acid peroxide that's turned dark green, um, they feel they're ready to throw it out. There's a way to kind of revitalize it so that you don't have to throw it out so soon. You can keep using it. All you have to do is put some stainless steel in it and the copper will cement to it and then you leave it in overnight or for a couple days, however long it takes for your solution to start clearing up. Um, yeah, so you just put the stainless steel in there and uh, I'll show you basically what it does. Um, this is a spoon that I had put in there and I just started scraping off some of the copper that's deposited on it. So we'll take a look down here. Alright, so what I've got here is a beaker with uh, some used AP that I've been you know, messing around with. Um, and I put two of these spoons in there to kind of draw out some of that copper. And this has been in here for two hours. So pull it out carefully, you don't want to, you don't want it all to fall back in the solution, but that's that's all copper right there. That's all copper that's stuck right to that spoon. So what you can do is just you know take anything to kind of scrape it off the spoon. All right, so that spoon's pretty clean, so I'm going to stick it back in. So what you're left here is you've got basically, uh, I believe, pure copper. So if you let this dry out, um, you can, I don't know if your yard will take it, but you know, that, that's pure copper. Alright, so that's how you bring a little bit of life back to your acid peroxide. Um, or in this case it's copper chloride, copper 2 chloride. I'm not a chemist. Um, but. You just you know, put some stainless steel in there and it cements right out. Um, pretty easy. So, thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, comments, hit me. See you on the next one. I don't know if you guys can see that, but those are all copper crystals that are forming on the, um, on the spoon. Pretty cool, huh? Now they're all very very loose on there so careful when you pull the spoons out um, so that you don't drop all that copper back into the solution. No big deal, I mean, it'll sink right to the bottom uh, and you can just slowly decant the fluid off and um, the copper should stay at the bottom. Um, oh and also, this should go without saying but I'll say it anyway, do not ever reuse these utensils. Don't think that you can clean it and throw it back in the kitchen drawer, just not good. Hey Scrappers, hey, Moose here again. So, uh, yeah, I kind of uh, messed up my leg. So I'm not going to be making any videos for a couple months, probably. At least until I can walk again, which will be nice. Uh, had a little incident with a patch of ice, we had a disagreement. Um, but as soon as I get back, we're going to scrap something fun. We're going to scrap those damn things. I'm so tired of crutches, and it's only been a week. <sighs> All right, so I'm asking you guys to give me a hand here. Um, I'm kind of stuck. No scrapping metal, no eBay, no none of that stuff, because it can barely hobble around for right now. Um, so if you wouldn't mind helping me out by watching as many videos as you can, um, just keep watching them. Um, 
Yeah. So, thanks for all your support. My dog thanks you. And uh, see you in a couple months.